Hello there, welcome back. Paul again from epianos.co.uk and also Tyros and Genos Tipsters. Uh, welcome back to Leicester, to my home here in the garage. Um, I've got in front of me uh, Yamaha's latest SX900 series keyboard and there's also a sister to this product which is the SX700 which is slightly lower in the specification. I wanted to bring something in particular to your attention today is that both the SX900 and SX700 have a new colour touch screen. This enables us to go through quite easily instead of having uh, information on the screen that you have to push the button that aligns to the screen at the side of the screen. This time we're using the screen and making the selection directly from the screen. So. What I wanted to do today was to go through the menus and show you how the touchscreen works. It's self-explanatory, but the window is the gateway to the brain of the keyboard. And there are some fairly surprising things you can do when you start getting into the, uh, into the nitty gritty of the keyboard. So I'll uh, rejig my camera. I'll pop it so we can see what's happening and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so here we go and welcome to the new colour screen on the SX900 and the SX700 Yamaha keyboards. Um, nice, clear, precise and it contains all the information such as style, what voices we're currently using on the keyboard, what's on the multi-pads and some other little bits and bobs that we can come back to in a later time. What I wanted to do though is to go to the right hand side of the screen here to where it says menu and press. You can now see that the screen has changed straight away. This is now giving us the selections you can make off the, um, off the menu of the keyboard. This is where we get into the brains and change things for our own personal taste. So you can see at the top for a start off you've got menu 1 and menu two. So there are two pages. There are 20 tiles on the first and uh, 16 on the second. Okay, so I've gone back to menu one. Switching between the two is easy just by touching at the top, look. Okay, so menu one. Um, this is where we access whatever we want to do. Now to make it simple for you, if we look at the second column, third tile down, it says split and fingering. If we go into the split, it automatically shows us where the keyboard is split, where you play your left hand chords. I always move this position and it's very easy to do just by touching style. You'll notice now there's a little highlight around the box. And then you notice the keyboard moving at the top now as I turn my data wheel until I get the exact split point I want. Once I've got that, exit. And that's it. It's as simple as that to control. Every time you go into a tablet or a specific part of the keyboard, this is the mixer. You can see style, left, right, right one, two and three. We can actually adjust these volumes literally by touch, look. Okay, so it's a far simpler and very much on the fly sort of system. We can see panel one here, there's panel two. And also on the left hand side we make our selections as to the filters to the EQ what effect we want on that voice if we want chorus and reverb and at the end pan and volume where it's coming from in the stereo spectrum and at what volume to get out just exit it's as simple as that okay if we go to assignable this now tells me what I've got on foot switches and I can put rhythm brakes or whichever I want onto my foot switch at the moment because I use a lot of piano you can see foot pedal number one 
is set to sustain. So we can make all our selections from this menu. Exit back to come back to the menu. Quick look at menu two. Um, let's have a look at, for instance, on this side here we've got keyboard and joystick. Now this is setting touch sensitivity. It's fixed if you want to decrease how hard you hit the keyboard you can bring the velocity down here and it is all by touch it's so simple you notice inadvertently I've double touched this if you wish to add a numerical vid, uh, value for instance if you knew you at 64 that's the setting you were happy at you can actually type in 64 and OK and you can see there the velocities come back to 64 so it's a real quick insight into what's available inside the menu even down to style creators where we can create our own styles and to simply get out the exit every time menu one and again if we go to exit we come back to the default okay on the on the actual home screen if we touch the rhythm it will show us all the rhythms that are available in that category and you can also see we're currently on page six there's page seven eight and nine and ten there as well use the back arrow and we get pages one to five so this touch screen is so easy to use even down to if we wanted to go to a different category of music, I just touch jazz and straight away the selections come up for me in the window. So, great system. Once um, you get familiar with using this touchscreen, selections can be made really quickly. I'm a big fan of Yamaha's what they call OTS link. So this is a one touch setting. So I've selected my big band I'm going to switch the OTS link on and now I'm coming out now you see it's big band swing I've got power tom toms on the multi pads and these are the voices I've got for my uh, big band swing so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take the uh, camera back a little bit and give you a little song and uh, see what you think. So here we go. Um, I'm going to take the jazz section, big band swing, accompaniment with the OTS link. That's all I've done. Uh, see what you think of this.
think you'll agree with me that um, watching me use the keyboard, uh, the touch screen makes this uh, cracking keyboard so easy to control. Uh, we're passionate at ePianos, Taurus Tipsters and uh, Genos Tipsters that we stay connected with you guys and that we uh, bring to you our presentations and show you around these machines and how easy they are to use. This keyboard in particular is very user friendly so yeah it's it's just great fun. Um, if you like what we do please subscribe to us please uh, register yourself for our newsletter and our, on our mailing list and uh, keep in touch with us send us your videos let us see your efforts at playing and uh, how you're using your Yamaha keyboards at home um, that's about it for this time thanks very much for watching I hope you found uh, my little video of some use to you as I say, register for the newsletter, stay in touch with us, keep in touch with us. Um, it's a great hobby we've got and we thoroughly enjoy receiving your videos as well as also making them. Okay, so thanks very much. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.